the octonauts and the pirate parrotfish. Now this is a picture of me grandfather, Calico Jack. It's because of him that I chose the pirate life. Wow, he looks so cool and so piratey with that parrot on his shoulder. That was his parrot sidekick, Pete. Calico Jack and Pete were devoted to each other, as parrot and pirate are meant to be. What else do you know about him? Well, matey, there is a song about him. A song? Can you sing it? Aye, oh, I can sing it. Most of it, anyway. <coughs> he hunted for treasure. He scratched for fleas. The bravest cat on the seven seas. Once he got going, he never turned back. And that's the truth about Calico Jack. He always had courage. He couldn't be beat. That's as much as I know. I've never been able to find out what the last line of the song is. You'll find out someday. I know it. I hope you're right, Peso. Uh-oh. Uh, the frame's broken, but at least the picture's all right. What's that on the other side? Shiver me whiskers. There be a map hidden on the back of this picture. I reckon it'd be a treasure map. Pirates always hide their treasure maps. Aye, oh, matey. I'm certain this map will lead us to the treasure of Parrot Island. <laughs> my grandfather, Calico Jack, must have wanted me to find this map, Captain. Look, X marks the treasure of Parrot Island. And I'm gonna find it. But how do we find it? Mm. We're looking for a parrot-shaped island with a volcano on one side and a little island with a palm tree on the other. Dashi? I'm already on it, Captain. I'm matching it to the maps on our computer. That's not it. No, not quite. No, nope, that's definitely not it. No, that's, uh... Ah, oh, she blows! Yeah, it's not far from here. Then let's explore the island and find the treasure. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Aye, aye, Captain! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to find the treasure of Parrot Island and explore the... Let's go, Captain. All right, Peso, into the cafe with Quasi. Aye, aye, Captain. According to the map, we should be coming up on some kind of green blot. I wonder what it could be. Algae, and lots of it. Yeah! Hmm, it's impossible to see where we're going now. Captain, look! <laughs> Ahoy there, mates. I could clean this windshield in no time. <laughs> Pete. What 
do you think these pointy things are? I wish I knew. I'll swim ahead and find out for you, mateys. <laughs> smell peso anymore. We're safe now. Phew. Pete, we never would have made it without your protective bubbles. Ah, it was nothing. Parrotfish Pete, any pirate will be proud to call you his sidekick. Ah, thanks, Quasi. According to the map, Parrot Island should be right around here. Let's swim to the surface and look for it. Look, there's the volcano. And there's the little island with the bomb tree. Yeah, but there's no parrot island anywhere. Maybe me grandfather's map was wrong. Avast! Uh, down here, mateys! Huh? Yow! Look at that! Wow! It's an underwater island. for sure. How can I ever thank you, Pete? Ah, oh, don't mention it. So, what do you say? You want to keep being me parrotfish sidekick? Ah, oh, well, it's been exciting being a sidekick, but now that we've found Parrotfish Island, I think I'd like to stay here with the other parrotfish. All right, me hearty, I understand. But how about your very own song to remember your pirate days by? A song about me? You don't have to worry when you get in trouble Cos Pete will protect you with his special bubble As brave friends go, he can't be beat And that's the story of Parrotfish Pete! Coming <laughs> <laughs> all up to know Quasi! Yes, Turn up! Hey, hey. Quasi, activate Creature Report! Charlie! 
Parrotfish can change their colors to blue or pink or many others. Their bubbles hide their smell. That helps them hide for meals really well. Maybe you've already heard. Parrotfish have beaks, kind of like a bird. Go parrotfish, go parrotfish, go parrotfish. and the electric torpedo rays. Full speed ahead, Dashie. I'm on it, Captain. Ah, that's more like it. Are we almost there, Cap? Don't worry, Tweak. We'll be there in no time. Okay, Cap. You must be really excited to see Sandy. I sure am, Pesto. Sandy the sea turtle is one of my best friends, and I don't get to see her very often. Sandy always swims through these waters this time of year. Then it's lucky that we're passing by. Sandy should be just on the other side of this canyon. I just hope we get there in time to see her. We'll be there faster than you can say, muncha, buncha. Uh, how does it go? Buncha, munchy, crunchy. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. What was that? Edge of a deep canyon. And we're already late for meeting up with Sandy. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Uh, sorry, Cap. No electricity, no octo alert. Mm. Uh -huh. Aha, tunip. Sound the octo alert, vegetal style. That's more like it. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, the octopod has crashed. It seems to have lost all electrical power. I think I found the problem, Cap. You see that? Red means that the octopod's battery is out of electricity. And without electricity, the octopod won't work. Don't worry, Tweak. I'm just worried that by the time it's fixed, it'll be too late to meet up with Sandy. Can't you just go out to meet her in one of the gups? The crash jammed the octo hatch. I can't get it open wide enough to take the gups out. We'd better check to see if the ship is damaged on the outside. Quasi, Peso, activate helmets. Let's go. <laughs> This is not a good place for the octopod to be. It could fall into the canyon at any minute. We'd better tie it down. <laughs> that should hold it. For a while. Ah, nothing to worry about. The octopod's as secure as... Yeah, yeah. Huh, what's the big idea, stepping on my tail like that? 
First this big orange thing drops out of the sky, and now these guys are just walking all over me while I'm resting on the sand. It makes me so mad, I get... Easy now, we didn't mean to startle you. We were on our way to visit a friend when our ship crashed. Oh, all right. Whew, listen, I'm really sorry about that. I'm usually a pretty friendly, go-with-the-flow kind of guy, but sometimes I just get a little worked up, and then... Yeah, yeah, then you zap. But how do you do it? I'm a torpedo ray, an electric torpedo ray, but you can call me Ray for short. An electric torpedo ray? That's right. I have a special part inside me that makes electricity, which lets me zap things. The one I gave you was just a little warning zap. Some warning. But I can make big zaps of electricity, too. Hmm. Could you show us how you make one of your big zaps? I sure hope this works. I might just get to see Sandy after all. Now, Ray, if you just make one of your nice big zaps, the electricity will go through the wire, recharge the battery, and give power to the octopod. Ready? Ready! All stand clear. Electricity is dangerous. <laughs> uh, must be a little nervous. Let me try that again. Take your time. Okay, here I go. Nothing to it. Huh? Uh, well, I guess I can only make really big zaps when something scares me or when I'm eating. Oh, yum! always zap our food before we eat it. Oh, still not enough electricity, I guess. Sorry. Oh, it's not your fault, Ray. I was just really looking forward to seeing my friend. Hey, listen, I've got some friends, too. Other electric torpedo rays. Maybe they can help. If one torpedo ray can make enough electricity to light up one room... A bunch of torpedo rays might be able to light up the whole octopod. And they do seem to like the Vegemal's fish biscuits. Keep it coming, Junip! Come on, guys! Dinner is served! <laughs> These fish biscuits taste great toasted. Oh, cool. oh yeah, I'm starving. It's working. The electricity from their zapping is going through the wire right into the octopod. Oh, yeah. Wow. Almost there. Just a few more zaps. Octonauts, the octopod is back in action. Yeah! 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 
I heard all the commotion from the other side of the canyon, so I swam over to check it out. Just in time, too. I'm glad everybody's okay. Fish biscuit, Sandy? Here, let me set that for you. Yes, yes. Nice and crunchy. <laughs> Thanks for coming all this way just to see me. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Uh, not too much trouble, Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> Calling all up to know. Quasi, Esso, Turn up. Quasi, activate creature report. Creature report. Creature report. Torpedo rays rest when they can. They like to lay down on the sand. Torpedo rays are like batteries. They make and store electricity. When they find something to eat, they always zap it first to make a tasty treat. No rays! No rays!